it was a great meeting. And he said, oh, yes, <laughs> and he's, he's done this. So he, he already understood that completely. And he, he articulated very well the main message, which is that urbanization is not a problem. It's an opportunity. And I, I take it this is a slogan that India could really show the world how to do it right. It was a great meeting. First, we met in 2013, 10 years ago, when um, he was in Gujarat and I was very interested in cities. So we talked about the importance of successful urban development and the things that the government really needs to do to help lead in urban development. And, um, and he understands these, these issues uh, very well. I then suggested the idea that one way to try and encourage states or cities to, to do something is instead of mandating it, to offer a reward or a prize. And he said, oh yes, <laughs> and he's, he's done this. So he, he already understood that completely. He also talked about the experience in Gujarat when he was uh, encouraging the redevelopment of Budge, I think it is. And um, it was emphasizing how important it is for government officials to get people behind whatever it is that they have to do. Even if it's something like you know rebuilding, you need to build public support. And uh, so he understands that that's the real challenge in keeping um, urbanization going, and that he can't do that anymore directly from Delhi, but he has to reward the, the heads of the states and the, the city governments to do what he uh, did before. So it was a very good conversation about urbanization, and he, he articulated very well the main message, which is that urbanization is not a problem, it's an opportunity. And I, I take it this is a slogan that he's, he's, uh, he's used before. Then I started to describe a system for uh, basically authenticating who someone is. That's what I'm working on in the United States right now. How could, if I'm sending an email to someone, how do I prove that it's really Paul Romer who's sending a, an email? I can't do it right now in the United States. And I started, started to outline, well, there's, you know, there might be a way together with cell phones uh, to do this, and it could link to Adhar. And uh, the prime minister started to try and explain to me, we're already doing it. <laughs> and so my idea is something that, you know, is already in train. So with the the EKC, you know, electronic, know your customer, they're already doing it. And uh, the prime minister's chief of staff then showed me the, uh, the app on the phone that is the, I guess, the, the container or the locker for certificates. It was describing the use of the, the mobile number. So for me, a good day is when I learn something. And I learned a bunch about what India is doing on, auth on this issue of authentication. And I think it's really exciting because the government has to be involved, as they are, but they have this foundation with the Adhar system that means they can do things that most governments around the world can't do. So I, um, as I said, it's a good day when I learn something. I'm really very uh, eager to stay in close touch. And I think India, just as India did this for, um, Adhar, I think for, you know, uh, telephony and electronic um, authentication, I think um, India could really show the world how to do it right. Mm -hmm. So what are your overall thoughts as far as the uh, urbanization policies of India under the Prime Minister's leadership is concerned? Yeah, I, I think the challenge is the one I described, which is that it's one thing to see what would be good. It's a much tougher thing to build consensus to get people behind doing it. And so his story about uh, Buj was the, you need local leaders who can do this. And I think his challenge is how, from Delhi, he can't do it in each city, but how does he encourage other people to do what he once did before? Um, we also, he also talked about the encouragement for city planning, city infrastructure planning and in, in universities and so forth. And, uh, and there we agreed that the, the challenge is to get people into this mindset of let's go do things. The danger with planners sometimes is they think their job is to say no. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do this. But what we need are people who can say yes, and here's a way to do it. Like, yes, we need to rebuild uh, the city. Because every country in the world right now needs to build more 
square feet or square meters of floor space. People want bigger houses, firms need more space. Um, the world is desperately short of floor space, urban floor space. It's, it's really in urban areas where it's desperate. And it's very difficult to get people to move in the direction that's needed to build more urban floor space. So I think the, the prime minister is leading in the right direction, but it is a challenge to get the whole system to kind of follow along.